Um, me. Well, go ahead, Shlok. We're the body because if you touch yourself, you feel it. Okay. So like if something happens to you, you feel. Okay. All right. So soul on the side of soul. Answer that question. On the side of soul. Uh, Ayati, you're on the side of soul, right? No, you're on the side of body. Or I'm soul. on the side of soul, but never, never mind. I can't. I can't. Sorry. Okay. Guys on the side of the soul, answer that question. Wait, can you say the question again? That he said a statement. We are the body because when we touch something, we feel something. Oh, okay. Think about. Yes, I, I, I think. Sorry. Um, I think I can answer the question that like we're in this life, so we're going to be the one who's going to feel it. But like later on, like our, our same soul will be going to a different body. But like doesn't mean that our body is going to that's going to be our body for like the rest of our like that's going to be the, our body for like the rest of eternity or something like that. So no, but you're not question answering the question. He's saying I'm the body because I can feel it. I know, but like, like that's because like temporarily you're gonna be the body in your life. So um, and then what? And then you're what? gonna be the. And then after that, when you're when when you um. When you die, maybe you're gonna go to a different body, or you're gonna go to, like, or you're gonna get like form of a different of an animal, or you're just gonna go to gold in heaven. But if you get another body, you're still the body. No, I can argue that. I know, but, but uh, 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 yeah, never mind. I can't answer the question. Sorry. Okay. All right. So, just with that, you are on this side of body. side of body. Go. You have another another point. Um, yeah, something like with um, IFE. We are the body what? because we cannot see like the soul in someone. We cannot see it like moving on to another body. We we just okay. so like I I don't believe it if I don't we don't believe it if we don't see it right. Yes, well, very nice, very nice. Good job, Jasrita. Yes, you want to add something more to it. Okay, so Sahas joined. Sahas, we just started the debate. Well, there are a few people who are on the side of the body. The people who are on the side of the body are Nimai, Shlok, Shriya, Jasvita, and the people who are on the side of soul are Ishan, Adhav, Ayati, Hari, Sahas. The two questions, the people who are on the side of soul are very... Silent. They should be the one talking too much. The two questions which have been posed, which I have not gotten any answers so far. We're winning. <laughs> yeah, winning. Shlok said, oh, because I am the body because when I touch something, I feel something. And Jasvita said, oh, if you say you're the soul, but I don't see the soul. I don't see the soul moving from one body to another body. So let's give a chance to the soul people. And then I'll yeah, come to the body people. That's why um, you're not the soul. I feel like the people who are like on no side are overpowered. I don't know why. <laughs> all right, all right, Sahas, go ahead. Okay, so the people, so you said that you can't see the soul transferring from one body to the next, but obviously you can't see it because it's one one a thousand of the width of the hair, and you can barely see the width of your hair. So why would you be able to see the soul transfer from one body to the next? And obviously you can't see it because first of all, it's inside your heart. Unless you open your heart, first of all, you wouldn't see it. And then second of all, the size of the soul is so tiny that you wouldn't be able to see it even with a microscope. Wonderful answer, Sahas. Anybody answers, wants to answer the question or add to it? The first question, which Shlok said, I'm the body because I I." See feel it. When I touch something, I feel something. What about that? Why am I not the body? Okay, someone besides his house. Okay, Ishan, go ahead. I mean, this doesn't, this doesn't, like, I mean, I'm not sure if this kind of answers the question, mm. but, like, you're the soul because, like, 
like think about this as like a car engine, like without the end, like which team is tree, which team is each on on? Soul. Soul. So like think of it as our body as a car. The engine is the soul. Without the engine, then it won't work. So it doesn't matter because like you need the soul. Yeah, it kind of it kind of answers, but let's see so what Sai Sa says. So basically, you 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 think you're the body because you're able to feel stuff, but the reason why you're able to feel stuff is with the soul because the soul. Let's if you didn't have your soul in your body, like Ishan's example with the car, then how the, would the car be able to move? It, same thing with the body. If you didn't have the soul in your body, you wouldn't be able to move your body around or do anything, let alone feel or touch anything. But because of your soul, you're able to use your senses to be able to feel and touch stuff. Wonderful, Zahas. Very wonderfully explained, right? I I also want to. And a little bit, I'm not on their side, but I just want to add a little bit, saying when people die, they still have the body, right? Do they feel? Let let them let them put their hand on something. Do they feel? Do they feel anything? The body is still there. Do they feel anything? So without the soul, the body cannot feel anything. We say, right? The body is there. We love love somebody and then they pass away. They, we don't go and hug their dead body, do we? So are we loving that person or are we loving the body? Okay. All right. So let's see. Now, any points from the body side or the soul side? Ayati. Um, but like, uh, how, like, I'm trying to answer like a uh, Shulk's question that like, even but like even though you even though like aren't you gonna like move on to like a new body but like even though you're feeling it, it's like temporarily right uh -huh. you're, feeling, you're you're feeling because there's a soul inside any feeling we willing or uh any consciousness the soul is the because of the soul there is consciousness if you don't have the soul inside you you're dead matter does the desk feel anything? Does the desk feel anything? No. Does the body without the seal feel anything? No. When it's a dead body, do you throw them or do anything with them? Do they feel anything? No. Because they're dead. Yeah, but why they are they dead? Why are they dead? It's still the because body. The soul's not inside it. Exactly. Yes. Okay, let's see. Any other points from the body side? Shlok. Um... I was about to say something different, but I reject what she just said because okay. we're not talking about you dying right now. We're talking about you uh, being like a, your soul or your like. But she, it, if you die, you, she didn't say anything about like the soul or anything. Like, what if all nature just fell out of you and you just died? I mean, like you have no like your whole body's old, rusty, and you're, and then you just die. It's not like you have a soul and then some, and then, and then you die. And then that happens. You just die. And then you don't, you're just gone forever. And then, and then, and then just another other person takes your place. Wonderful. Very good point. So Shlok is saying, that we just don't die. This the body became rusty. The body became old. The body became diseased. That's why you die. So where's the soul in the picture? So basically, you're saying that. Nowhere. So basically, what you're saying is that when you basically, like you die, you basically cease to exist and you don't exist anymore. But then, you think of it like that. If you don't see, if you cease to exist, then how come there's many stories of people who remember their past lives, and even if they're lying, there's multiple examples of like people having soul. Like first of all, you you don't say my, you don't say body as you. You say my body. And then second of all, there's multiple studies about. Uh, if you have a like what you are like if you're a soul or if you're the body there's multiple um multiple experiments with that people hooking up their mind to machines and like yes 
Very nice. Very nice, Sahas. Very nice. So Shlok's question was, okay, the body. So you, there are two different things, two different threads going on. Shlok's question was the body, it withered away because it became old, rusty, and it doesn't exist anymore. And Saha's answer was, there have been, the soul exists because there have been so many instances of past life memories, of out of death experience. Uh, sometimes, sometimes they just make up those stories. Those are fake stories. Nobody can remember their past lives because they don't even have any. It's like you're born. <laughs> It's like you're born with like organs without like some energy, and then when you die, all that energy is gone. And it's so then how gone. many? How is there so many accounts of these people saying almost the exact same thing? Like at the end of their life, mo like people are getting so scared. Like pe at the end of their life, people see like this person coming to them and you can see that in multiple people at the near end of their lives they get really scared because there's like the what's it called? the yamadutas are very scary for them because they're a very scary individual so then they come and you get very scared and but there's also multiple accounts as krishna devotees who have seen like the Krishna, the krishna dutas come down and then they they're really happy and you can see that at, in their last moments. Okay, very nice. Okay, Sahas, very nice. I'll give chance to Jasvita now, and then um, to Shlo. Okay, you said that um, at the end of their life, people say that they're like see someone, but if it's if it's at their end of the life, how do they say that? It's like at the end of their life. So just how do before they the end of their life. I mean, it's literally just before the end of their life. Just before. Yeah, just before. Yeah, so how they did they document? How did they document because they're gonna die? Huh? How? Oh, how, how, how? I'm Proji. Can I speak now? Okay, now let let Sahas answer that question first. Or Ishan, I don't know. Is Sahas the only one in the soul group? Nobody else answering. I'm the MVP. Ishan, Nimai, Adhav, and who else? Ayati, Ayati, answer that question. Um, but like, um, because like they're not like um gonna be able to talk. The old people they're not gonna be able to talk for about almost about their end of their life and like, but like it's like might be studies shown or something like that. But when you when it's time for your end of life, you're gonna feel it, aren't you? No, so you're not answering the question, I think the question was. Others, can you re-explain the question? I didn't understand the question. Okay, Wait. so the question is, you said when people are about to die, they see the Yamudutas or the Krishna Dutas, right? Yeah. And my question to you was, and again, I'm not on this anybody's side, right? My question, somebody will have a question. If people is somebody about to die, they might see something. But how do know? How do we know that they saw something? Because they cannot write down, or they cannot videograph or photo you something. You can see from their expression. You can see from their expression, their face, their eyes. Like you can even see from the, their heart rate how it like it like fluctuates and then it just goes straight. And then you can see from like what like sometimes they even talk just before their. Uh, last breaths, they even talk like, oh my god, or something. There's multiple accounts of that as well. What if they just, what if that just means that they're about to die? Like, what if that just means that, that they are? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, that is what they're trying to they're gonna die. Yeah. Okay, okay, all right. So let's, let's yeah, give Isha you... a chance. Let's get Ishan a chance, and then I'll come to you, Jasvita. Let's go, Shana. Oh, like, there was this, like, time where, like, there was this person and then, like, like he was in the hospital, and then all of a sudden, like, he was, like, under treatment and all that, like, and the doctors were looking at him, and then all of a sudden, he had a heart attack. And then, like, it showed that, like, all of his life flashbacks throughout his mind, it showed, like, yeah, it showed that. Okay, so what? Meaning, again, how do I know it showed that? How do I know that it showed that? Like, because is it recorded somewhere? Is it... Like, because he's about to die, right? And and uh, Sahas's point is, oh, I, we see in his expression. I cannot see in his expression. He's seeing a Yamduta. I don't know. He's seeing a Yamduta. I cannot see that from his face. 
Actually, you can't, like, if you see them get, like, really, you can tell if someone's, like, really scared, but, like, they're, expl like, if you go into a haunted house with somebody, and this guy gets really scared easily, you can tell by their expression that they're scared, and you can say the same thing in the death bed, you can see their expression, They'll their, their eyes can, will get wide open, and isn't that how, basically, they die, their eyes wide open? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What All if right, Jasmita, go ahead. Jasmita, go ahead. Yeah. And then you, What if they're just scared because they're about to die? That makes sense. They won't right? have any feelings. They're just about to die. They won't have any, like, they'll, like, if they know they're about to die, they won't, like, you think they've not been scared for the, like, their last couple of days? Like, oh. it might not, it's not just now that they'll just be suddenly scared. It's just... Like the people, like the Yamuda, Yamudutas who come down and they, uh, like, they're very scary looking, which is what the scriptures say. Yeah. Then, but how yeah, do, they would get really scared. How do they, how do we know that they come down? Like, uh, how do we know? From the scriptures. Oh. Okay. okay. Shlok, you have a shlok. You want to counter that? What he said about the Yamadusas? Um, he said they, that they. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, if they're just scared that they're gonna die. They're, they're like, oh no, all this life I had was so good, and now it's all over, and I'm going away. And like, all my relatives will be sad when I die. You know, like, I won't be able to see the future. When That's I, what I'm saying. I'm dying so early. And usually they yeah, but you think they're feeling and remember, you think they're feeling that and thinking of that all the way through their death? Bear, you, Some stupid people do. Most people, <laughs> when they die, they, like, near the end of their life, they they cannot memorize, they cannot, like, feel. How do you die? How do you know it. that? How do you know that? How, have you died and then decided? Yeah, I've died life? before. I've died. Before. No, you can tell. You can see that from old people, old people who are nearing the end of their life. You can tell that they're forgetting stuff. You can see that. You can't. Are you yes, like you can. What do you okay, mean? All right, all right. Shlok and Sahas, I will take it a pause here and I'll, I'll give it a chance to Ayati. But very wonderful Shlok and Sahas. Very wonderfully animated, very wonderfully done. Let's see what Ayati has to say. You're muted. Sorry. But um, what about like by facial expressions or maybe they can talk? Like remember, they can like sometimes old people can uh, they talk at by the end of their life. They and, and then like or by their expressions, like when if they're like sad, they're like or like they're like this. Are you on which side are you on? I'm on, I'm on a soul. So what, okay, what, what are you I'm, talking about the soul? I am trying to understand. I'm saying that they can see the Yamudutas or Krishnadutas. How? The, the, that's the question has been saying because of the scripture. So I said that the scripture oh, and then the, the... By expression, you can tell. You need, I at least ask them. Okay. What if, the, okay. what if their expressions, because they're just feeling sad because they're going to die. Because no. no, but no, might, no old people would think that. So I sure. No. Yeah, they might know, but still, at the end, when they actually die, wouldn't you feel sad? At least, like, you know, your family is yeah, gonna die. Wouldn't you at least feel sad? Besides, but, like, if, like, some people, remember, they can talk, they can say, yes, things, but how do you they, know that they okay. talk about Okay, it? all right, so let's, let's give Ishan a chance and then a Shlok a chance. Ishan? Oh, like, Actually, yeah, no, never mind. Okay, Shlok, and then I'll help. Yeah, they could be sad because, like, their family is going and they won't be able to, like, see what else would be invented. They won't see, like, okay, I'm, okay, now I'm going to I don't think, I don't think old people are thinking, oh, my God. I don't think people who are about to die is like, oh, my God. No, I can't see the invention of the iPhone 16. No. Yeah, yeah, I can't. There's only... also, you have to come on video, Sahas and Ayati, you have to come on video. Also, like, one other thing, like, I'm pretty sure they're not going to remember about their family. I think they're just going to remember about themselves. 
Okay, what? no, that's that's not true. Okay, it's not necessary that they will not remember about family. Okay, shlok. And then I want to talk about... What happened to Ajamila? <laughs> Do you know the story of Ajamila? Yes, yeah. wonderful shlok. Yes, go ahead. Not the he, whole story, but say say the last part. Yeah, he remembered his family. He did, he remembered his son. Wonderful, wonderful counteraction to Ishan. Yes, you will remember your family, whatever you're attached to. Yes, yes. So I wanted to add to Ishan. I think Ishan got a little far here, but he, then he forgot the, the other part, right? So there was a, a there. There is a doctor who experiments, who has done so many experiments or something called out of body experience. What is the out of body meaning? The soul coming out of the body. So there was a patient who was in the hospital, in the surgery room. And when he was being un put under anesthesia, right? Anesthesia, you know, guys, anesthesia, that you're unconscious, right? You And then he had a cardiac arrest. He had a heart attack, right? And they tried to save him. They're trying to save him, but he had no heartbeat. So he kind of was dead. And then they tried to resuscitate him like they with the, some of the, the medical devices. He comes he back to life after a few minutes. Sorry? What was that, Jasmita? No, nothing. So they tried to resuscitate him. And after a few minutes, probably 5, 10 or 15 minutes later, he comes back to life. And then he says, oh, this doctor was saying this. This nurse was saying this. And you you guys were saying he's almost dead, he's dead. And then you try to do this. He was able to explain everything. How was he able to do that? Because he was not dead. Because, no, he was dead. There was a flat line. So his soul came out of the body and his soul is seeing everything. And then the soul went inside the body again. There is another instance. There is another instance, similar instance, a person who is in the hospital, he's dead. And they're trying to resuscitate him. His soul goes up, two, three floors up. And he sees, oh, there's a, a, a tennis shoe, the a sports shoe on the building. Nobody can see that he's in the bed. Nobody would go five floors up and see there's a tennis shoe on the balcony. Who can see that? He's saying that. I saw that. He also saw a janitor's closet and what is there in the closet. How can he know all that? Because he saw that I could see everything. And you guys were, some people were even like on the verge of crying saying this guy, this guy is dead. But then when I came back, so the doctors have no clue. How can he know all this? Okay, now I want a different point from the body side or the soul side. Okay, Shlok, go ahead. Um, so basically, maybe he thought no, it may... Oh, so probably like people who's like they they probably have that. Uh, never mind. Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay, Hari, you want to go next? Uh, um, I'm trying to say something. I was gonna say that um. A ja from the Jamin story, he he may have remembered his um son, but he still saw their Yamadutas and Krish and Vishnu Dutas. Wonderful. What's your name, Beta? Punch. What's his name? Punch. Punch. Wonderful. Wonderful. And also, our soul changes bodies just as we change clothes. It can never be harmed by any fire. Can, or weapons or water it can it it will never be harmed in any way wonderful Hari. wonderful yes very nice slow um, yes yes um i already know why how Hari said that but me and Hari have a class together it's a, a bhagavad gita class and that it said that in one of the shlokas that you cannot no the soul cannot be harmed by water fire any weapon or air. Yes. It cannot Nine be. Yes. Shlok, you're, you're on the body side. You're on the body yeah. side. <laughs> but he... <laughs> no, no, he was just telling the shloka. That's very nice. Very nice. Okay. Uh, Adam, go ahead. Um, 
I'm not the um. I'm not my eyes. I'm not my ears. I'm not my nose. I'm not my mouth. The body is not my stomach. The body is not my neck. But there's something within me which is the soul. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, right. So let's shlok. Show me your eyes. Where are your eyes, shlok? Where is your nose? Where Where are your uh, Where is your mouth? Where Where are your uh, arms? And where are you? Where are you? Like, what does I'm that mean? Are you, the, are you the body? Yeah, because I, this is my body. This is my okay. body. This you're saying my body. I am. You're saying I am the body. You, I. This, this is my body. Or you're saying I am body. You're saying I am body. Or this is my body. You're the, you're my the body. soul. So you're saying my. Who is that my in this? My soul. Okay. You I, are, I, I already know. I already know, know that the body is soul. I know that there's soul in your I know, body. I know. I know. I know. See, this is what. This is what the soul people have to do. See, Adam, dude, I know, you know, but you have to answer. See, you have to, I'm, I'm trying to take both the sides, okay? So try to make it more interesting. Answer as if you're on, as, answer as, you, if, as if you're about the body. Because you're on the body side. All right. Okay, let's see. Uh, Sahas, go ahead. I was just thinking of something. And I forgot it. Um, okay. So we'll come back to it to think about it. Okay, Adam, go ahead. So, Adam, I, I yeah, forgot to lower my hand. Okay, okay, no worries. Anybody else wants to say something? Shlo, go ahead. If, if in your body, when you move your hand, you actually like feel it, but it don't. And you don't feel it at your soul. You feel it at your hands. Like, like if I hit myself, it hurts right here. It doesn't hurt right here. Okay. Yeah, obviously, wants... why would it hurt in your soul if it hurts here? Your soul is the one that ex is experiencing yeah, the pain. Yeah, my body. But, but I'm my body. That's why it hurts my body. It, it hurts wonderful. your body, but you're the one who's experiencing the pain. Your hand isn't experience, experiencing the pain. It's not like my hand's like, oh my god. You're feeling that pain that, oh, I accidentally punched the wall. Oh, and now my hand's really hurting. You're feeling that pain, not your body, your hand. Your hand can't feel anything because your hand doesn't have a soul to feel. You're, to feel something, you need to be able to... You need to have something where you can feel it, and you if you punch a dead body, you think the you think you would feel the you think you would feel it. Yeah, nope. but you yes. Feel, no, you Wait, would feel I had... a dead body, but you would feel the dead body. But the dead body won't feel it. So, but, but you that... just said that you're the body, right? If you're the body, then you should feel it. If so you punch the body, if I punch I a dead remember body. Remember what I said the other time. That like uh, your body has energy, but all of that energy is out. So they're like everything. No, out. you exactly. You just literally said okay, it. Okay, the okay, energy okay, is okay, the all soul. Right. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Let's <laughs> calm down your legs. Okay. That's that's <laughs> good. Now let's go. Oh, okay. Shlok last time, and then I'll go to Jasvita, then to Ayati. You guys think that the soul lasts forever, but this type of energy probably called uh old. <laughs> I don't know, but like it only lasts for a certain amount of time, almost about a hundred years. Okay, so if it lasts a hundred years, where does the energy go? It just disappears? It goes No, so your body is using that energy and then and then then that energy it stops running it, it starts running. So you that said energy. that your body is using that energy, right? So then if your body is using what? that energy, then I should be able to punch you even when you're dead and you should be able to feel it. But no, because dead. all the energy is out and my body's not running. Yeah, you just said that energy that you're saying is the soul. Once the soul is out, then you can't feel it anymore. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Okay. All right. So I'll move on to say Jasvita. 
Um, and Saha said that y your hand or body doesn't feel the pain. Scientific fact. When your hand gets, when your finger gets a paper cut, the nerves feel it and send it to your brain, and then your brain feels it, and a, your brain is an organ of the body. Yes, yes, that is true. Who can answer that question? Uh, who yes. controls the brain? It's a scientific fact. Yes, uh, it is a scientific fact, but yes. Who controls the brain? You're if you if you think the brain is if you think the brain is the one that's you call it your brain. Well, like who controls the soul? You, if you think that you are your brain, then you should, then eat, then you, then your pain would go to your brain. But then you would, you're saying that how would you feel? Then why would you have a soul? Who, but, who controls the soul then? You control the soul. What do you but mean? Who, why would somebody control? You said the soul? that the soul controls you. But then who? Controls you are the soul. Why would the soul control you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> The soul controls the body. Yeah, the all soul right, controls right, the body. Right, Who right. is you? So, Who is okay, you? okay, let's not laugh. So your question was, you have a paper cut. It goes to the brain. The brain sick, takes it. And Sasha's answer was, who is controlling the brain? His, his answer was soul. So when we say the soul is in my body, it's not just in the heart region, right? It, the, the consciousness, the soul is in the heart region. It's very teeny tiny. That's why you cannot see it, right? Can you uh, use a microscope to see the the and uh, oh. say uh, say the air? Can you see the air with the no. microscope? No, but can you uh, uh, can you uh, like use a tape to uh, find out the the size of air or liquid? No, well maybe liquid if it turns into a size cell. of liquid. Liquid, liquid, wherever you pour, it will occupy something. <laughs> you can use a tape to do that. Maybe. So you do not have those measuring things to measure the soul, right? It's so tiny. And, but even though it is tiny, it is the same size, whether it's in an animal, it's in a teeny ant, or it's in an elephant, or it's in a human, it's the same size. And because of the soul, it's consciousness, the whole body, the soul is being carried by five airs to the whole body. And because of the soul, you can feel wherever it hurts, the pain is because of the soul that you feel the pain, whether it's in a paper cut, whether it's hurting here. Otherwise, the dead body should also feel pain if I hit it. No. But the soul is gone. There's no consciousness. So you can feel the pain. The I wanted to add something I forgot, but I will go to Ayati. Another reason why you're the soul is just like, uh, even like you're like it's like your hands a puppet to you. Like when you burn, like when you get burned by like a stove or something, you're like ouch, 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 ouch. Like just like wiggling your hand a lot, trying trying to wear it out. Like you're you're the one who's trying to do that. You you're making your hand do that, but like and like your hands doing it, not you. So you're the soul. Okay. Yes, Jasvita. Hmm. Okay, uh, sorry, I couldn't unmute for a sec. Uh, you say that the soul is you, but then who is you exactly? No, oh, that's what he's saying. You and the soul Literally are Literally what we're saying. Exact, the soul and you are the same thing. You okay. are. Yeah, okay, let's go to Shlok. Let's go to Shlok. So. You, what controls yeah. the soul, and what controls, what controls the soul? You what are the soul. soul. You control the Wait, soul. Not, you go. are the soul. Let's Nothing go. controls the soul. All right, Shriya. Let's go to Shriya. Let's go to Shriya. Let's go to Shriya. So you guys are basically saying that we're the size of a hundred hair tip? Size of a hair tip? Yeah, that's yeah. what they're saying. We are saying that. That's literally what yeah, we do. Which side are you on, Tria? Which side are you on? The body, but we're not that tiny. We're large. The soul, the soul is the, like the soul is covered in like all of these layers of skin, and that's what makes us us. But deep inside, like that's all that's living. Like if it leaves, then we're dead. But like. The soul is basically just covered in all these layers. 
Wonderful, wonderful. Now I'll go to Hari. Hari. Actually, the soul is as small as um, if you take a hair chip and cut it into 10,000 pieces, that's how uh, small your soul is. Yes, yes, that it is true. That but she has, she has point is, we aren't that tiny, we're so big. And Ishan's point is, we are the tiny, but our body is covering it. Wait, which size are the on? So. Okay. Okay. Any any other topics to cover? Are you getting convinced or not, the, the body guys? No. No. Then oh. put your point forward they, because they've answered all your questions. Which questions have they not answered? Who controls you and who controls the thing that you can I mean, can, wait no you uh, somebody something controls you that is probably krishna and what controls krishna i mean krishna just can't just uh, krishna i thought we were talking lord, about like, soul not like, krishna like, lord yeah. is lord. he can't lord we can't talk about anything to be god if, wait, wait, wait. Stop. First of all, first of all, you got away from the topic. We're talking about souls. Where the hell did you go to Krishna? Okay, okay. All right. Let's 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 keep this very um, nice and uh thing. Uh question is okay, who controls you? Let's let's okay. Who can does does anybody control us? Is then no, yeah. nobody. We have three. So you do get controlled by the three months of material nature. Yes, you get Yes, that's the covering, right? That's the covering. Yeah, that's the oh, covering. That's the covering, right? Our soul is pure, but it has the covering of the three modes of material nature saying, oh, I don't feel like getting up and doing my homework. I don't feel like chanting. I don't feel like playing. No, no, we always feel like playing, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so who's that? What is that covering? We said, I don't like getting up. I don't feel like chanting. That's the mode of ignorance. Laziness. And then sometimes ignorance, right? That is that is material nature. And then sometimes I feel, I feel like uh, kicking th that ball so very hard in the goal. That is the mode of passion. And sometimes we feel, oh, I feel like nicely listening to meditational music. That is the mode of goodness. Those are the things controlling us. But if we chant nicely, we can chant and serve the devotees and hear Krishna Katha. We can transcend these modes of material nature and get to a state where nobody, where, where we are just trying to serve Krishna. Okay, so Wait, both the material nature controlling us and we cannot say Krishna is controlling us. Krishna is not putting a gun on your head. Hey, Sahas, you love Krishna, another Krishna, Krishna will kill you. Is this Krishna doing that? No. You, you, like, you can't force love. Yeah, you cannot force love. Right? Okay, Hari, and then Jasvita. And then Shlo. To get rid of ignorance, you need knowledge from the Bhagavad Gita. Yes. That's your point to this, the, the body guys. Oh, body guys. Read the sh sh Bhagavad Gita. Read the shlokas. Right? Shlok, you already read the Bhagavad Gita. Jasvita, you should read the Bhagavad Gita. That's a very good point. I'm very happy, Hari. Very nice. I read very five nice. shlokas a day. Oh, wow. Wonderful. You're on right? the body side, Shlok. I know. I know. <laughs> slowly. That's the point, right? Slowly, we will get the body guys on the soul side. But slowly, slowly we are getting there. No, meaning I'm I'm a moderator. Okay, so I said, uh, okay, now Jasvita, then Adho. Jasvita. You say that you control you. So like, see, there's a car. The car does not control the car. The person controls the car. So like, who controls the soul, which is like you? Yeah, you literally just said it. The person controls the car. The person is the soul. You literally just said it. So, 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 just with that, the person inside the car is you, the soul, and the car is the body. Who's yeah. controlling? So the basically, car? what you're the saying, person. I'll use that same analogy. No, I'll use that same analogy against you. If you say that the body, you're you're the body, right? So then the car should be able to drive itself. Then, 
It should be a car is not the, the car is be not so and drive you, you fell in your trap, Jasvita. The car <laughs> is the body. The person who's driving is the soul. Okay, good. Now, okay, Shlok, I'll come to you. Shriya, Adam, Shlok, Shriya. Shriya? You were saying something? You were saying something? No? Yeah. Okay, Adam, go ahead and then Shlok. Oh, your soul is controlling you, like um, pretend um, a cat um, a mouse a mice's mouses are scared of cat scared of cats, and then if a cat cat is chasing up the mouse, the mouse is running away. Same how the soul um controls the body. I did not get this. So, ch cat is chasing the mice. And then the soul is not controlled by anybody. Soul is controlling the body. Is that what you're saying? Okay. That analogy. Okay. 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 Soul is okay. Soul is spirit, right? It's not matter. It's not like that word or something. Soul is spiritual through its senses, through its desires. It's moving the body. Okay. All right. So then we have shlok. Shlok, you have any point to add? Um, oh, so Mahima is there. Say, I did not. I got to say there's often on this car. And like Tesla, and they're, they're making auto cars. So, so like, that drive. Mahima, you're in the side of body. <laughs> Mahima. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> It that's really doesn't car. matter. Oh, because they're making self-driving cars, now the soul is now not long, no longer there. Now you're just the body now. Just because now they're making self-driving cars, now the soul I doesn't was adding about the other Thank car. you. What a great opinion. <laughs> hold, on. hold on, hold on. I want to understand this. Okay, Maima. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's. I want to understand. Maima, are you on the on the body side? And we have eight minutes. Okay, so self-driving car, Shlok, you said you're self-driving car, and Sahas, you're saying, okay, now you're just the body, that's what you're saying, Sahas? No, I'm saying that makes no sense. We, we're we not, oh, we're not saying, oh, the soul is the, we're not saying, we're not saying, oh, because now there's self-driving cars, the soul doesn't exist anymore. Now it's just the body because of self-driving cars. It's just an analogy. It's not like it's the. It's not like we are a a car. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very well put. And even self-driving cars has some intelligence behind it, right? Some yeah. some program inside. Yeah. It. You have the AI. Without AI, you can't like you can't make you can't just make a car and then decide, hey, car, go. I mean, there's okay. some AI behind it. Um, okay, Mahima. I know you joined late. Back to the topic that um, of your time at last yeah, uh, yeah. a while ago about the cars. Okay, Mahima, you're on the body side. You want to say something? Hi, Krishna Prabhuji. Um, I'm on the side of we are the body. Yeah. Yes. Um. So we are the body and not the soul because. For generations and generations, there's always been like bodies, either humans or animals, and there's no proof that we are the soul. Okay, there's no proof that we are the soul. There's no proof. Okay. We gave some. This was the original question. Now we are answering it again. The scriptures. No, the, so the answer, yes, because she joined it, she doesn't know. Uh, the scriptures, then we said out of body experience. People having uh, past memories. Okay, Ayati, you have anything to add? Um. Yes. Is that um when you're when like well, like like when when they like when when they were saying about like uh, self driving cars, you can't just say like, car just go, but like the car needs to have a place where it needs to go. It needs to have a destination. You need to have a destination. You know. I. Yes. Yeah. I know. But we're not talking about cars. Okay. Oh, that, but that's an example. We are not talking we're about soul. cars. We're talking about soul. I know. But cars. You know what? Never mind. I never. I never said anything. Okay. All right. Okay. Final closing comment. I will pick two people. Like, okay, you raise your hands. I'll pick two people. One from the body side. One from the soul side. 
Okay, let it be Shlok and Sahas. Okay, Shlok. What was the, what are we gonna do? Like one last I'm comment. The last, the last final closing comment from both the sides. Shlok, you go basically, ahead. Basically, your body, because like when when you like okay, am I okay? Just kind of a violent a comment. What if you like cut off your leg? It hurt your leg so badly. But it doesn't hurt your soul. You don't, you like your leg is hurting and it's going up to your whole leg. But it's not like hurting your hand. It's not hurting your neck. It's not hurting your head. Yeah, it's hurting your it leg. Hurt your why would it hurt your leg or neck if it's not there? Exactly. Pain is why would it hurt there. Your, but why if you it, don't have your soul, how the hell are you expected to feel your leg cut off? No, wait, think about no. it. So you have a dead body. You cut off his leg. He has no soul. He has no soul. He doesn't have a soul. You cut off his leg. You expect him to go, ow, why the hell you cut off my head? Ow, ow. The brain is dead. I mean, he still has a brain. He still has all the organs. It's not like he didn't lose. He lost his organ. No, Only when you cut off his leg. The brain had. Okay. If you right. lose some of your legs, your organs, when you cut off like the part of that, you lose, you lose some of like. You get what I mean? Okay. All right. So I think Sahas answered the question. If you cut the leg, you will hit the feel the pain there, right? And who are you getting the feeling from? Is the soul telling you, the consciousness, right? Um, so at this point, it's 1126. I want to applaud all of you. You guys did wonderful, wonderful. And again, I know who are the, like, again, everybody is a winner because I put picked random people, but I really liked all the participation from Ayati to Sahas to Adha to Jasvita, Shriya, uh, and Nitai and Hari and Shlok and Maima, it was wonderful. So next <laughs> week, next week, we will go through a PowerPoint presentation of I am the body or the soul. I'll try to explain that in more in detail. But why am I doing this? So that we get a clear picture. Why, why I want to teach you this? Right? So it's just that this, this, uh, the body is like a dress, right? I am wearing a blue shirt today. Tomorrow I might be wearing a white shirt. So when the body dies, the soul takes on a new dress, the new body. So it's many times we are just thinking, oh, I like so much tasty food, uh, which is not even offered to Krishna. I like ice cream. I like this and like that. But it's not I like, it's the body is craving for it. The sense is craving for it. The soul really likes, what does the soul really like? to serve Krishna, because that is the nature of the soul. What is the nature of the fire? Like, what is the nature of fire? Fire gives us heat and light. It's his nature. And what is the nature of the soul? Because we are the soul. We want to worship. We want to love Krishna. But because we are covered, we forget all this. Because we think we are the body. Oh, I love watching TV. I love watching um, Pokemon. I love playing with Pokemon, that's not what we like really. What we like really it. like, what we really like is chanting. What we really like is serving Krishna. What we really like is the devotees. And we've forgotten that because we think we are the body, not the soul. Even though you might theoretically understand that, in practice, in realization, I don't even realize that, right? But we have to constantly remind our mind that we're not the body, but the soul and the, the, the nature of the soul is to love Krishna. That is the whole reason I'm doing this. Okay. So yes, final comments, Ayati. Yes, go ahead. I just want to say, whose side was most convincing? Whose? Uh, once Sahas joined, then the soul side was convincing. And Shlok was able to hold the fort for a long, long time. His arguments were very valid and so were just with us. It is hard to argue with Sahas. <laughs> it is very. <laughs> so very, very, very nicely done. I am so happy for this debate. Hopefully, and the next week, please join, right? So we can 
follow this with a presentation and so that this concept can go deeper in us. Does it make sense? Yes? Okay, so that the concept can go deeper in us. And I like the part, who said, read Bhagavad Gita shlokas, who said that? Hari, Hari said that. Wonderful, wonderful. I really like that part. I really like that part. Okay, with that being said, we will say our prayers. Vancha Kalpatrugyasya Kripa Sindhu Pya Evacha Patita Na Pahamitiru Vaishnavibhyo Namo Nama Ananta Koti Vaishnav Vrinda Ki Jai Shra Prabhupad Ki Jai Okay, we'll see you next. Hare Krishna, we'll see you next Sunday. Hare Krishna. Bye. 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 B